This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. So last weekend in London, Zhang Big Bang Zhili shook up the heavyweight division when he stopped the highly regarded Joe the Juggernaut Joyce in round six. Due to a badly damaged eye suffered by the Juggernaut, compliments of repeated smashing left hands from Big Bang Zhang. Zhang's victory got me thinking about the current top 15 heavyweights competing today. And honestly, the fact that Joyce and Zhang even fought made me quickly realize what a tricky proposition it is to rank today's top 15 heavyweights. The simple fact is, not many big high-profile matches have taken place. Most heavyweights, especially those at the top level, only fight once or twice a year typically, none of whom are consistently facing top-level opposition. Obviously, right now, the two champions are Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. And then after that, you have a bunch of former champions in the mix, none of whom have done anything especially notable in recent years. And then filling out the rest of it, we have a lot of largely unproven talents who are difficult to judge, because these guys aren't mixing it up against each other often enough which makes the recent bout between Big Bang Zhang and the Juggernaut a shining exception to what today's heavyweight landscape typically provides, and even those two haven't done a whole lot to prove themselves against other top-level boxers. That being said, for better or worse, this is how I would be inclined to view the top 15 heavyweights presently competing. Number 15, Jared Big Baby Anderson. The 23-year-old American has a perfect record of 14-0, with all 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Anderson fought earlier this month, when he scored a third-round stoppage against another undefeated prospect, George Arias. And that's the thing about Anderson. In my mind, he is still very much a prospect, a work in progress. After all, he only just had his second scheduled 10-rounder last time out. All the same, Anderson sneaks into my top 15 here. Ring Magazine has him ranked at number 10. The WBA and WBC both have him at number 11. The IBF has him unranked. And the WBO has him at number 9. But for me, the promising young American just cracks the top 15. Number 14. Otto Olin Valin. The 32-year-old Swedish heavyweight has a record of 25-1, with 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. That lone loss, ironically, is the fight he is best known for, where he put up an admirable effort, causing a bad cut against Tyson Fury, but he ultimately lost a unanimous decision. He's won five in a row since then, including a couple of decent wins against Travis Kaufman and former title challenger Dominic Brazil. His last fight in January was a small venue eight-round unanimous decision win against Telemann Olguin. TBRB currently has him at number eight right now. The WBC and IBF have him at number nine. And the WBO amazingly has him ranked at number three. Those all seem a little high to me. And Ring and the WBA do not have Valine ranked, but I think number 14 feels closer to the mark here, especially since his reputation is largely built on a good losing effort, where he otherwise just doesn't have many noteworthy names on his resume. Number 13, Martin Makabu Bacoli. The 29-year-old Congolese heavyweight has a record of 18-1, with 13 of those wins coming by way of knockout. His lone loss came against Michael Hunter over four years ago. Bacoli has a fight coming up this weekend, and last time out, he won a 10-round majority decision against Tony Yoka last May. Bacoli is currently ranked number 7 by the WBC. And amazingly, he is ranked number two by the WBA. Again, those seem inexplicably high in my humble opinion, no disrespect intended, but it's the same story here, where Bacoli is largely unproven, and given his level of competition to date, he also feels like more of a prospect than a bona fide contender at this time. Number 12, Joseph Parker. 
The 31-year-old New Zealander is the former WBO heavyweight champion, and his record is 31-3 with 21 wins by knockout. Unlike the three heavyweights I have ranked below him, Parker has faced a much higher level of opposition, with notable fights against Andy Ruiz Jr., Anthony Joshua, Dillian White, and Joe Joyce. But the problem here is he only won once in those four bouts, and he arguably lost all four. In his most recent loss, Parker was stopped by Joe Joyce last September. He rebounded from that loss with a 10-round unanimous decision victory early this year against Jack Massey. Ring Magazine currently has him at number 8. TBRB has him at number 10. The WBC has him at number 10. The IBF at number 12. And the WBO has him at number 7. Parker is conceivably still in the mix, but he has been trending down and is probably past his peak. Number 11, Dillian White, the Body Snatcher. The 35-year-old British heavyweight has been a perennial contender for a number of years now, but he has generally fallen short against the top level, with notable losing efforts against Anthony Joshua and also his only title fight from last April when he was stopped by Tyson Fury. His current record is 29-3, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. In his most recent effort last November, White won a somewhat controversial 12-round majority decision against Jermaine Franklin. Ring has him at number 6. TBRB has him at 7. The WBC has him at number 6. And the IBF at number 8. White is in a similar boat as Parker. He may have a few big money fights left in him, but he seems to be trending down and past his best. Number 10, Frank Sanchez, the Cuban Flash. The 30-year-old Cuban heavyweight has a perfect 22-0 record, with 15 wins coming inside the distance. Last time out earlier this month, the Cuban Flash stopped Daniel Martz in round one. He has a few decent quality notable wins against the likes of F.A. Ajagba and Christian Hammer, and unlike White and Parker, the Cuban Flash tends to be trending up, despite still being largely unproven. Sanchez is currently ranked number 4 by the WBC and number 7 by the IBF. And the WBO amazingly has him ranked all the way up at number 2. And time will tell if the talented Cuban heavyweight can fulfill his potential and make his mark on the heavyweight landscape. Number 9, Luis King Kong Ortiz. The 44-year-old Cuban heavyweight is a two-time title challenger whose record stands at 33-3 with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Last time out last September, Ortiz lost a close and competitive 12-round unanimous decision against Andy Ruiz Jr., Ortiz is another guy who is clearly in decline and past his peak, and is in fact coming off a loss, where he also lost his two biggest fights when he challenged then WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Ring has Ortiz at number 7, TBRB has him at number 9, the WBA has him at number 6, the WBC has him at number 13, and the IBF has him at number 15. Honestly, I was a bit reluctant putting a 44-year-old coming off a loss inside my top 10, but all the same, I think King Kong is still more deserving of the number 9 spot than anyone I have ranked below him, but maybe not. Number 8, Joe the Juggernaut Joyce. The 37-year-old British boxer has a record that now stands at 15-1 with 14 wins coming inside the distance. Of course, he is coming off of the aforementioned loss at the hands of Big Bang Zhang. His most notable win to date remains his impressive victory when he stopped Parker. And Joyce has a number of other decent quality wins to go along with that. At the same time, his failure against Zhang and the fact he is already in his late 30s make him a higher risk, lower reward type of guy. And with heavyweights fighting so infrequently, it is difficult to imagine him now building himself back into title contention. While these rankings may not be all up to date given his recent loss, 
the most recent rankings. Ring had him at number four. TBRB has him at six, and I think they are current. The WBO had him at number one, but surely he's dropped since losing against Zhang. Number seven, Zhang Big Bang Chalet. The soon-to-be 40-year-old Chinese heavyweight has a professional record of 25-1-1, with 20 of those wins coming inside the distance. Obviously, at this point, he is coming off the sensational win against the highly regarded Joyce, which is easily the most significant heavyweight victory so far this year. Big Bang Zhang is now ranked number 5 by TBRB, and going into the Joyce bout, he was ranked number 13 by the WBO. But since he now has the WBO so-called interim belt, he presumably climbs to the top for the WBO when they update their rankings. Zhang is another guy who is older where time is not on his side, given how infrequently top heavyweights fight. But the positive note here is he has a lot of momentum coming off the sensational victory against the juggernaut. Number 6. Filip Hergovic, El Animal. The 30-year-old Croatian heavyweight has a perfect professional record of 15-0 with 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. In his most recent bout, he won a close and somewhat controversial 12-round unanimous decision against Big Bang Zhang. That victory earned him the IBF mandatory top spot, where he is ranked number one according to that organization. Ring has him at number nine, the WBA has him at number seven, and the WBO has him at number four. Hergovic is another guy who is largely unproven against the elite heavyweights competing today, but the official win against Zhang at least looks a bit better in hindsight, and I have a difficult time objectively ranking Hergovic any lower at this time. Number 5. Andy Ruiz Jr., The Destroyer the 33-year-old American is the former unified IBF, WBA, WBO heavyweight champion, and his record is now 35-2, with 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout. The defining moment in his career happened nearly four years ago now, when he scored the big upset win against AJ. After losing a lopsided 12-round unanimous decision in the Joshua rematch, Ruiz holds victories against Chris Ariola and most recently the win against King Kong Ortiz. Ring currently has him at number 5, TBRB has him at number 4, the WBC has him all the way up at number 2, and the IBF at number 3. Technically, he's also number one at the WBO, which is a bit confusing because the WBO number one mandatory is usually their interim champion, which was Joyce and is now Zhang, which I suppose really means Andy is number two there, in practical terms. The strength of his victories against AJ and King Kong clearly give Ruiz the edge over the others I have ranked below as I personally see it, and he still has the right blend of speed and power that he could perhaps yet still make some noise in the heavyweight landscape. Number 4, Anthony Joshua. The 33-year-old British heavyweight is the former two-time unified IBF, WBA, WBO heavyweight champion, and his professional record currently stands at 25-3 with 22 wins inside the distance. In his most recent fight on the first of this month, AJ won a 12-round unanimous decision against Jermaine Franklin. Joshua has lost three of his last six, including a pair of decisive losses at the hands of Alexander Usyk. Ring and TBRB have AJ at number three, and so does the WBA and WBC, whereas the IBF and WBO have him at number five. Despite only batting 500 over his last six fights, Joshua is still very much in the mix for title contention, and he is still one of the biggest, if not the biggest draw in the heavyweight division. Unlike most of the other guys, I think it is almost a certainty that AJ will get more big opportunities if and when he wants them, although probably not against Usyk. Number three, Deontay Wilder, the Bronze Bomber. 
The 37-year-old American is the former long-reigning WBC champion, where he made 10 consecutive defenses of that belt. His current record is 43-2-1, with 42 of those 43 victories coming by way of knockout. Wilder has only won three of his last six, which included a draw and two losses against Tyson Fury. Last time out in October of last year, Wilder bounced back with a first-round knockout victory against Robert Hellenius. Wilder is currently ranked number two by both Ring and TBRB. He is ranked number one by both the WBA and WBC. He is ranked number four by the IBF and number six by the WBO. In many ways, Wilder is in the same boat as AJ. They are both former champions who haven't had any especially great wins in the last couple of years, but their status as former champions alone keeps them very much in the mix. Perhaps they will finally fight each other next. Number 2. Oleksandr Usyk, The Cat The 36-year-old Ukrainian heavyweight is the reigning unified IBF, WBA, WBO heavyweight champion, and he is likewise the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion. His professional record is a perfect 20-0, with 13 of those 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Usyk has had only four fights at heavyweight since he moved up from cruiser, and most recently he won back-to-back -back fights against Anthony Joshua. In addition to holding the championship according to three out of four alphabet bodies, Usyk is likewise regarded as the heavyweight champion, according to both Ring Magazine and also TBRB. With bated breath, the boxing world eagerly awaits the next move from the unified champion. And number one, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. The 34-year-old British heavyweight is the reigning WBC and lineal world heavyweight champion. His professional record stands at 33-0-1, with 24 of those 33 wins coming by way of knockout. In addition to scoring back-to-back -back knockout victories against Deontay Wilder, Fury also stopped his mandatory challenger Dillian White last April, and most recently, he stopped Derek Chisora in December of last year. Fury is ranked number one by both Ring Magazine and TBRB, behind Usyk, whom each views as champion at this time. But the simple fact of the matter is, Tyson Fury is still the man to beat. And he has been since he first earned a valid claim to the lineage when he defeated the great Vladimir Klitschko back in 2015. While Ring Magazine and TBRB are inexplicably acting a lot like sanctioning bodies, Fury never lost his rightful lineal claim inside the ring, which is the only way to lose that distinction, barring a real retirement, not the fickle variety that we see so often in boxing, which makes the decisions from Ring Magazine and TBRB a real head-scratcher for me. Make no mistake, Tyson Fury is still clearly the man to beat in any historical context. And there you have it. In my humble opinion, I believe these are the top 15 heavyweights currently competing today. Without meaning to sound like a broken record, however, I'm not especially confident in any of my selections outside of the top 5, because again, these days heavyweights are not especially active, and we aren't seeing these top guys consistently squaring off against one another. And because of that, it is difficult to create a clear picture of exactly who ranks where. Even my 6, 7, and 8 guys, Hergovic, Zhang, and Joyce, it's difficult to properly gauge where they all stand because other than fights between Zhang and the other two, and also Joyce's win against Parker, these guys themselves are largely unproven. And then even in the top five, former champions Ruiz Jr., AJ, and Wilder, none of them have done a whole lot in terms of recent high-profile wins. But because the rest of the division is so lethargic in terms of big fights getting made, those guys are still holding their place in the pecking order. I for one am hopeful that we will start seeing more of these guys mixing it up with one another. 
And I am likewise hopeful that we will still get the undisputed heavyweight showdown between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. Because it's been more than 20 damn years since we had an undisputed world heavyweight champion back when the great Lennox Lewis last held that honorable distinction. So what do you think of my top 15? Please share your views in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.